living diorama with the drop this stick it's poker he's out in the wilderness hunting mutant arachnids by now the radiation has dissipated and uh, killing one of those well they taste like crab how big are they A giant wolf spider who will who will be dinner and who will eat a little bee I'm gonna check out my diorama so everything you see here is the exception of the spider oh what's that that looks like a funny pumpkin doesn't it it's a walnut shell and the action figure all from my backyard and the alley behind it so here is the alley behind my house it's actually a wetland you can see I've made, an, made a path and just to show you these uh, reed plants they're hollow like bamboo and they dry out and here's all the different kind of things you can you you can harvest from the flower stage to the flowers falling off major flowers to the dried out stage and they get even darker than that you can see the different things eventually they get really dark so we can find a piece this is how they look get really dark it's, so it's hollow to read so anyway you can just take the top and pull the stuff off and plant it of course it doesn't grow but this is just a temporary thing anyway so there you go this is on that foam mattress that I painted with found uh, latex paint stiffen it up make it last it's been out here for hmm, close to 10 years maybe the Sun came out in Seattle mark it down we call it a Sun break because it only comes out for uh, 32 seconds at a time so I shows you what you can do just by take stuff from your yard of course it helps to live in Seattle if you're in Tucson or Phoenix you would have to go with the cacti and the succulents so for the lone wanderer, I'm out.